So hello and welcome to Story Time this morning, uh, this afternoon, sorry, and thank you for joining. Today we're going to be reading My Shadow is Pink. So this is a book that I recently discovered. Um, Scott Stewart is the author and the illustrator. Um, he is from Australia and that's where he lives with his family. And this particular story I wanted to um, share with you all because when I was looking for just different stories, see what's around and things like that, this one really stood out to me and it reminded me that, you know, recently um, in June everyone was celebrating Pride Month and but it also kind of spoke to me that, um, you know, it's, it's all year round, it doesn't, it's not just one month, so, you know, we should celebrate all year round. And I read this book um, before obviously sharing it with you guys and actually I think it's just such a special story and I was so, I've just been so excited all week to be able to share it with everyone. Um, it's quite emotional in places but I think it's something that everyone will be able to understand. Um, I think surprisingly though, one of the feelings I had when I read the book um, was that I was actually a bit angry because I was I'm just very surprised that um, or just not really surprised I suppose I can understand but um, I'm just angry that this book wasn't around when I was little because it explains quite a lot of things and it's very easy to understand and very easy to relate to so I won't keep as much longer um, I hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I did and can I just point out how amazing is that shadow? It's so sparkly! Such a great touch. So this is My Shadow is Pink by Scott Stewart. And I'd like to note the uh, dedication on the front, which sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But this is for Colin, you are loved exactly as you are. Which I think is just such a special sentiment. So let's get started. My dad has a shadow that's blue as can be, and there's nothing but blue in my whole family tree. But mine is quite different, it's not what you think. For mine is not blue, my shadow is pink. My shadow loves ponies and books and pink toys, princesses, fairies and things not for boys. But there's one thing it likes most I have found. It loves to wear dresses and dancing around. It spins and it sparkles and it twirls through the air, then stops as my dad walks in with a stare. It will turn blue one of these days. Don't worry, he says. It's just a phase. My dad's shadow is blue. It is big, it is strong. But when I stand with it, I just feel so wrong. I wish mine was blue, like all of the others. I wish mine was blue, like my dad's and my brother's. I'd be part of the group, of that there's no doubt. But I cannot fit in when my shadow stands out.
now things are all changing and that is not cool I'm ready to start my first day at school you'll need pencils and books and lunch in the spring dress up with your shadow in its favourite thing My heart skips a beat as I put on a dress and I look at my dad who is anxious and stressed. He takes me to class and I turn to say bye. His face is all worried. There's fear in his eyes. So I step in the doorway and puff out my chest. One thing is clear, I'm not like the rest. I try to say hi, but my voice is too quiet. The kids turn around and the room, it goes silent. I run out the door and I push past my dad. I run to my house feeling angry and sad. If my shadow was blue, I'd be there making friends. I'd be laughing and playing and drawing with pens. I rip off my dress, throw it to, down to the floor. I won't wear it again, not ever, no more. Just then at my door comes a soft little knock. It's my dad walking in, and I look up in shock. Both he and his shadow, in dresses they stood, with shimmering seams, and pink sparkling hoods. He speaks in a voice that's quite soft but is stern. Pick up that dress you must listen and learn. Your shadow is pink. I see now it's true. It's not just a shadow. It's your innermost you. He showed me the photos of parents and brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and others. We've all had a shadow that's hidden from eyes. Sometimes our shadow, it lives in disguise. His shadow loves painting and fashion and art. Her shadow loves engines and powerful cars. His shadow loves dance with its turns and its twirls. Her shadow, she hides it. Her shadow likes girls. His shadow loves theater and acting and plays. Her shadow loves science and planets and space. Your shadow is you, and pink it will be. So stand up with your shadow and yell, this is me. And sometimes, 
and some they will love you and some they will not but those that do love you they'll love you a lot so put on that dress and get back to school if someone won't like you then they are a fool My heart nearly burst, and my shadow, it soared. I picked up the dress and wore it once more. We ran out the door, this time holding hands. My dad and our shadows, together we stand. I stride in my class and I puff out my chest. I may be different, but different is best. I join a small group, though in, I join a small group, though in I don't blend. They look up and smile. Will you be our friend? that's the end of My Shadow is Pink by Scott Stewart and there's a nice little picture at the back there of Scott so I hope you like that story um, what's quite nice is it's, it's got some nice little um, things on the back as well um, where there's actually there's a quote from um, Danny Minogue, if anyone knows who that is, um, <laughs> saying, uh, when I got to the end of the story, I thought, why has this book never existed before? It's just perfection. And I kind of agree, really, because I, I feel, I'm sure there are books out there, but, um, yeah, there's just, it just, obviously it's never really available, so it's just such a shame, because the story is just so good. I don't know if you guys saw any of the kind of like little things were floating about in the background which I thought was really interesting um when if we go back well, go back to the right page when the little boy is in his bedroom by the bin is down here is uh, some teddy bears and what's quite interesting about that is Apart from his shadow, um, the teddy bears have the only bit of pink that's um, in the in the picture, which is quite interesting. And then, if I scoot ahead a little bit, which I also think is quite interesting, is this page where he went to school for the first time because. I think what was quite interesting was, and I didn't get it until I read it the second time round, was that there's such a build up at the beginning um, that you don't quite, like, you don't quite get what's going on. And you're like, hmm, oh dear, his dad is really horrible, he doesn't like him, and all this. But his dad lets him wear the dress going to school. and he's not, it doesn't say that he's angry at any time, it says that he's anxious, stressed and worried and there's a bit of fear and if you look here like, yeah his shadow is covering his face but he does look a little bit worried I and mean, if he was really that bothered he wouldn't have let him go to school in the first place but I think it shows that, you know, he knew, he knew who his little kid was and you know, try to give him the chance that he could do it himself. But in the end, you know, he needed a bit of an extra push. And I particularly like the detail that it's like kind of that checkered 
kind of pattern so it kind of matches his shirt again the teddy bears are watching and if you find any pictures uh, any pictures of where it's based in his room the teddy bears are always watching they're always uh over here they're always over here in the background watching very interesting um but yeah it's just i think it's just such an amazing story and it's got such a great like little extra bit to it and you're thinking mm, that's quite interesting and if you look here as well i love like looking at the pictures of what everyone else was into as well and like what their shadow was actually doing in the background so that was really interesting there's just so much to look at on his book and so much to actually sit down and think about um and then lastly in the background if you just look here his shadow is riding on the shoulders of his dad's shadow so that's quite cool as well and there's obviously that the pictures of their family tree and stuff up on the wall in their house um <laughs> everyone looks like his dad so it's, it's quite cute but yeah it's a it's a lovely story and i'm really glad i've got to share it with you and hopefully it has had uh left you with some positive thoughts and to quote the back of the book um it's an uplifting book about daring to be different and having the courage to be your true self so hopefully this week you get to go out and be your true self so thank you for joining me i'm Huda, and listening to my shadow is pink by Scott Stewart. We've loved sharing the story with you and we hope to see you again at next time for story time. So it's bye from me, so bye and um, bye from who there. So bye Pooh. Bye. Thank you. Bye.